Senator Bernie Sanders has a plan to wipe out $1.6 trillion of student loan debt for 45 million Americans. In Pennsylvania, new data shows that 67%, that's two-thirds of college graduates, have debt. And the average borrower owes more than $36,000. Now, that's the most of any state. Channel 11's Justin Gray is live with the outlook for Sanders' plan. Justin. Yeah, what are the chances of this becoming law right now? In reality, it's one word, zero. But this is going to become, it looks like, a key issue, how to deal with student debt as we deal with the 2020 presidential race. My family is drowning in debt. I have $212,000 <laughs> of student debt. But both their families would be free of student loan debt if the new bill introduced here by Bernie Sanders were to become law. The legislation would cancel all student loan debt, $1.6 trillion worth for 45 million Americans, and make public colleges and universities free going forward. Bottom line is we should not be punishing people for getting a higher education. It is time to hit the reset button. Sanders would pay for his plan with a $2 trillion tax on Wall Street banks. But critics of the plan say it's colleges who would profit at taxpayers' expense. The first thing we'll see from colleges and universities is raise their tuition prices. The Conservative Heritage Foundation's Mary Claire Anselm agrees with Sanders on the problem, but not on the solution. I think it sends the wrong message to our students that, that fiscal irresponsibility will be treated the same as those students who took that, um, that loan from the American taxpayer very seriously. This plan by Sanders and leading progressives in the House goes even further than a bill by Senator Elizabeth Warren to forgive $600 billion in student loan debt. It was literally easier for me to become the youngest woman in American history elected to Congress than it is to pay off my student loan debt. Now, back during the 2016 presidential election, Bernie Sanders proposed free college at public colleges and universities. This, of course, now going much further. Reporting live in Washington, Justin Gray, Channel 11 News.